Hey YouTubers! So I'm going to go ahead and do a tag. I collaborated on creating this tag with Dory Hammers. If you do not know Dory, you need to check out her channel and I'll link it down below. She's awesome. Like super awesome. She's just very spirited and creative and um, eclectic and multifaceted and a great mom and um, she's just super cool. So we worked on this tag and it is called end of 2013 hooray for a new year 2014 ooh, 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 ooh. Looks 2014 mm -hmm. I don't know what that was Okay, so I'm filming this on New Year's Day. I was supposed to film this before New Year's Day. So the first question is, what are you doing New Year's Eve? Hmm. Well, my boyfriend and I watched Lord of the Rings. We wanted to try to watch the trilogy. Each of those movies is three hours long. We watched one. We'll get to the rest eventually. And today we had some friends over for brunch and another friend over later on and we've just been relaxing so okay but it was really fun and I'm glad that we didn't go like out um number two what are your triumphs this year I'm gonna say um, I am happy and triumphant about um, my continued growth as a person um, and one of those things was starting a YouTube channel. The other one was continuing my growth within um, the experience of being a trans activist. activist. So in other words, um, I consider what I do um, with my volunteer work and being involved in the transgender community um, trans advocacy. So, yeah, I like, um, you know, I've continued with that. I've attended two conferences this year and, um, grew a conference here that I work on called Pittsburgh Trans Pride. And, uh, so I'm happy about those things. Number three, top three personal events for this year. Um, number one, realizing how incredibly strong I am as a human being. I overcame some health challenges um, <clears throat> and uh, dealt with managing stress in my life and um, to help, um, help stop those health problems from reoccurring. Um, also, I met my boyfriend in April um, and I got to perform as Betty Page Turner um, in two venues that I probably would have never imagined I'd be able to perform in. One of them was at Pittsburgh Pride um, on the main stage with my troupe Hot Metal Hardware and then recently, which is kind of funny because one of them was like six months ago, recently I was able to perform uh, at Wall Street, which is a bar in Columbus, Ohio, with my troupe. Um, in particular, with my um, my drag stage husband, Johnny Valiant. Swoon. Okay. Number four. People you met this year, new friends that feel like old friends, will definitely miss Dory Hammers. She's awesome. I can't say that enough, but it's just really true. I would say all of my new YouTube friends, like Eagle Eye Shopper, um, Maureen Scott, um, just quite a few other people that I've gotten to know that I've really, really liked talking to. Um, and then, of course, another new friend, my boyfriend and a lot of my other really super cool friends in Columbus which I don't know that they actually watch this so I won't be mentioning their names but they're super cool and awesome okay if you could relive one memory this year what would you pick um, my boyfriend and I went on a trip this October to a place called Lake Hope 
and it was a lot of fun. So if I could relive anything, I would say that because it was a really fun trip. Number six. Three words that describe 2013 and three words that you hope will describe 2014. I'm going to use the same words. It doesn't say that I can't. The three words to me that describe 2013 and also describe 2014 are new, change, and growing. Great words, I think. Number seven. Lucky number seven. <clears throat> Top three movies you watched this year. The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Katniss. Um, I really liked Kick-Ass 1 and I liked Kick-Ass 2, which came out this year. And a movie called Sinister that had Ethan Hawke in it. I don't know if that came out this year or last year, but I saw it on DVD this year. Scariest effing movie I've seen in a long time. Okay, number eight. Top three songs of the year. Um, I would say... Katy Perry, Unconditional. Mm, beautiful. Sorry about that text. Um, Miley Cyrus, Wrecking Ball. And also Miley Cyrus, I Adore You. I really like that, too. Um, number nine. Favorite moments in pop culture or celebrity world? I would say the whole Miley Cyrus film... Uh-uh, foam, foam number one, she number one, she number one, Katy Perry, I mean, uh, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> okay, yeah, that was crazy. Um, favorite clothing style this year. What was a style changer for you personally? I would say these bangs were a pretty big style changer for me because they actually kind of, for some reason, I feel like my clothing style is changing a little bit with them. I feel this need to sort of do more of a boho chic kind of thing, which seems to be pretty in for this upcoming year. So that's pretty awesome. Um... So, but it, the question truly was, favorite clothing style this year, what was a style changer for me personally? And I would say probably learning what dresses looked better on me, which is more of a fit and flare dress. Um, layering. This um, fall and winter sweaters have been pretty impactful for me as far as, you know, it seems to me at least that sweaters are just very like utilitarian. But this year they became multi-purposeful type sweaters. A lot of cardigans without buttons, a lot of asymmetrical cuts, a lot of different textures, a lot of text, um, a lot of like chunky sweaters, um, sweaters that button up to make like, you know, a scarf. So to me that those were kind of style changers. Um, okay. Favorite thrifted item? Probably the Caboodles case um, that I got. Um, I thrifted a pair of Tory Butch, Tory Birch shoes and a Kate Spade purse. Those were my three faves and probably three best values, you know. Okay, biggest waste of money this year. And that could be thrifted or non-thrifted. Um, I have to say, any high heels that I purchased this year. Sadly, last March, um, actually before that, sadly, August one year, so this past August and then before that, I fell. Um, I tripped. And at work. Um, and it never really healed. And then, because of the non-healed ankle, I hurt my knee last March. So physically, I've been healing a lot this year. Um, there were some other health issues that I had as well, which weren't really helpful in helping me heal from that. Um, so, high heels were a total waste this year because I can't wear them. 
I just, I mean, even for a minute, which is really disappointing for me because I have some big old platforms. And it's it's hard not to be able to even wear like a small heel, and I literally can't, even for a few minutes. I think somewhere around spring, I did. I went out with a pair of heels on, and I even brought flats to change into, but I was in pain for an entire week afterwards, so I have to figure out a way to resolve that. Um, okay. Favorite cosmetic trends. I'm sure I'm kind of on the fishtail end of this, although, you know, I wasn't. I used them. I bought them whenever they came out, but my favorite cosmetic trend for the whole year would probably be all of the BB and CC creams. I thought that they were awesome. I think it's great that using a product that makes your skin healthier and also, you know, does what you need it to, I like multi-purposing type things. Best cosmetic purchased high-end or drugstore item? I would say in general, um, one of the best values that I discovered this year was MYX Cosmetics. I think that their blushes are highly pigmented. Um, I think that their eyeshadows are okay to good. Um, um, I think that... I'm not a big fan of their eyeliners, I can't say that. I like their eyebrow products, their eyebrow pencils. Um, their blushes are fantastic. Um, and then Revlon, Revlon um, Kissable Balms in general. Those are some of my favorites. Um, <clears throat> favorite nail polish trend of the year. I would say the matte um, trend. You know, making shiny colors matte either with a matte coverage that you put over top of it or actual matte polishes. Also glitters. I have some lovely glitter on my fingers now. It's golden. Golden. Golden and uh, glittery. Um, so I, I think also just like um, colors like deep greens and colors that almost would sound or look in a bottle like swamp water that look fantastic on fingernails. I hope that that makes sense. But like deep greens and murky browns and, you know, all sorts of colors like that, like magentas. Um, lately, you know, and I think a lot of people know that I'm obsessed with um, red lips, but lately I've even been loving sort of almost like a burgundy um, lip, like something really dark. And I know I'm talking about lips and I started out talking about... Um, uh, I started out talking about nail polishes, but same, you know, the same things that I like on my lips, I like on my nails, you know, dark burgundy colors and different things like that. Okay. Number 16. Can you believe we made it to number 16? Looks like we made it to number 16. Woo, woo. Okay. Favorite food this year? hands down. I love pho. P-H-O. It is a Korean noodle soup and it is like heaven. I like noodles in general too. So like noodle shops and um, pho. My favorite restaurant in town right now is pho van. So it's spelled P-H-O-V-A-N, and they mostly serve pho soups, but they have a lot of stir fries and different things like that. Um, so that is my favorite restaurant, and that was number 17. Now we have moved on to number 18. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, favorite trend from each season this year. I'm going to say, I'm gonna just going to pull out a few trends that I really liked this year. My favorite trend is, of course, wearing Guns N' Roses t-shirts over top of flowery shirts. No, that's not really a trend. That's just something I'm doing. I don't know, you know. It could start a trend. You never know. You never know. So, I'd say that, for me personally... I like this bang trend um, because I really do. I'm enjoying my bangs. I think that they are pretty awesome. They've been sort of a game changer for me as far as, you know, um, changing up my style a little bit, giving me 
um, some a lot of different things to do with my hair. Um, so, and I've noticed a lot of people rocking the bangs, and so I would definitely say that it is a trend, and I think that it's great. Another trend that I've been noticing that I think is awesome are shorter nails. Um, with nails in general, I've noticed a lot of people are even painting shorter nails. I think that in the past, people thought that they had to have long nails in order to paint them. Um, and a lot of people, I think, are realizing that you can have a nice, you know, short nail, but keep them nice and painted, and that they look really nice, and you don't have to have crazy cat lady nails. <coughs> Not that there's anything wrong with crazy cat lady nails. I've had long nails at certain points in my life. I've had sculptured nails. I'd, I've had um, the UV light nails. That was kind of, that is a big trend still. A lot of people are doing that, the gel um nails. I actually have the whole kit and caboodle. But I've been giving my nails kind of a break lately just to help with healthiness and they look pretty great. I think. Um, so yeah, I like shorter nails. I like all the things going on with nails in general. Um, so bangs, shorter nails. Um, also with nails, I really like um, reverse Frenches, you know, like playing with different colors, doing um, different designs on nails. Not de not like a design design like a flower, but like, you know, painting a French, but like doing it in a V shape or doing it in a more rounded shape, you know, different things like that. Um, I really like the whole boho chic thing um, look that is going on. I love that plaids are really in right now because... I, this is a confession for you, I'm mad for plaid. I'm absolutely mad for plaid. I think that it's awesome. I think that everyone should have a plaid shirt. I'm serious. They look great layering. You know, like this. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a button-up color shirt. No, this is not plaid. It is a ditzy floral print, but it's neat to do like kind of different things like this, you know, and I'm wearing it with a t-shirt because, well, first of all, this wacky style that I have here, which I'll call it wacky because it's fun, um, I can multi-purpose, you know, a t-shirt that in the spring I would wear without a, a shirt or maybe just with a scarf. Um, and now I have you know, repurposed it and I'm wearing it with this. And earlier I had a cardigan sweater over it, you know. Um, I love layers. So, 2013 is gone. Bye, 2013. See you later. See you later, 2013. Hello, 2014. You're one sexy mofo. That's, I mean, I think just about everybody knows it. You're a sexy mofo, and I'm looking forward to spending the next year in you. That's all I'm saying. So, Dory Hammers, I have not watched your video yet. And I know that I'm getting my video uploaded late. But I felt like I really needed to do my own video. And that I would then go and watch your video. I am super excited to see your video. I am so glad we did this collab. I will call it a sort of Midwest girl, sort of Midwest girl, whoa, whoa, and a Midwest girl kind of collab. And, you know, we get crazy together. We do a collaboration. We create a video tag to share with all of YouTube. I encourage you all strongly to do this tag as well. All of the questions will be listed below. Um, I'll even list my answers down there. For sure. Yeah. Um, but I want you to do this tag. I would like to see a lot of um, YouTubers that I really like, like Oily Z, to do this. Um, like Maureen Scott, maybe. Maybe Eagle Eye Shopper. You know, some of these people. I definitely would like to see Bethy the Blue Eyes do this tag. Um, you know, do it, do it, do it. Okay, I'm going to go, or I could just talk all night, and it's New Year's Day. 
I have a whole year ahead of me. And I'm excited about that. <laughs> so I'm off work for the next two days. Actually, more than that. I'm off work Thursday. So this is Wednesday, New Year's Day. I'm off work Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Ooh, ooh. And my boyfriend's here. And we're hanging out. We're doing some stuff. I think that we're going to go thrifting tomorrow. I could have a thrift haul for you on a Thursday. That's right. A thrift haul Thursday. Whoop, whoop. Love you all. Thumbs up and subscribe to this damn channel already.